Hello, my name is Wayne Perry from the DIY Doers and I'm going to do a garden makeover using thorn down paint. As you can see behind me, everything is wood. Well, what do you expect? I'm a carpenter. But we have my man cave, my workshop. We've got um, decking, which is probably about eight years old and a little bit tired. We've got some raised beds, but we've also got some furniture. So I'm going to be painting some um, birch ply. We've got some sculptures, metal sculptures, and we've also got terracotta pots um, and plastic tubs. Now the brilliant thing about using thorn down paint is it works on all of those surfaces. So metal, wood, terracotta, um, glass even. So keep watching and hopefully by the end of it you'll see a, a big garden transformation by just using thorn down. Now I'm going to update my workshop, my man cave I call it. I built this about seven eight years ago and i made it out of gravel boards now gravel boards are the things that are at the bottom of fences to stop boundaries from gravel from going one garden to the other um and i loved using this because it shows the grain of the wood coming through it's tunnelized wood which means it's lasted pretty well it's lasted about like i say eight years but i still want to see this grain which is why i never treated it when i when i built it but what i'm going to use is the thorn down birch stain what's great about this is it's water based so if it goes on too thick and i can't see the grain i can just add a little bit more water and thin it out there's a rule of thumb they always say avoid the rain it's not raining today it's sunny and go with the grain i've got a lot of grain to cover What's great about using a wood stain rather than a solid um, paint is that you can be a bit messy with it. So I want this grain to come through so I can be a bit liberal and a little bit messy whereas if it was a solid colour I'd almost have to block out the grain and I'd have to do two, three coats. So when doing something like this it's a lot quicker just to use a stain. finished looks great I've uh, give it just one coat of thorn down um, wood stain I've used the birch and it's really brought out the texture of the wood which I wanted I think it's gonna last another nine years all I need to do now is uh, clean my brushes with water water based I'm now gonna be painting my raised beds with this thorn down paint wood paint the beds are made of railway sleepers with decking boards on top and originally I painted them the same as the decking the problem with that is everything in my garden is really dark. The planting behind is really dark. So what I need to do is brighten things up a little bit. It's, it's a decent big area which will brighten things up, but it's not huge. So I'm actually going to paint it in a block colour, solid block colour, by using this limestone, a really light, light colour. It's going to take two coats. What's great is the first coat is, is touched dry within an hour. So I'll be able to do a second coat pretty quickly with the thorn down paint. I finished the raised beds and it only took two coats. Well, hey, the space here looks brilliant already. Just with the raised beds, the fact that they're now this limestone colour offset against my man cave, which is, you know, the beautiful birch stain. I couldn't be happier with the results so far. Now I'm going to be updating and protecting my garden furniture. Being a TV carpenter, I get to work on some amazing shows and get to make some amazing things. For example, I made this uh, uh, hammock frame for Celebrity Big Brother. I'm a task carpenter on that show. And this was made just for one, one task, which meant it was going to be thrown away. Um, but I also made it out of internal wood, so it's not ideal to be outside. And I, and I still want to use this, I want to protect it. So I'm going to be painting this with a thorn down block colour. I've got a coffee table, which I uh, made for tattoo fixers, and it was featured on quite a few episodes series of tattoo fixes um, but I don't want to change the colour of that I just want to protect it I want to bring out the the nourishment of the wood so I'm going to use a nice thorn down UV clear paint for that and then behind me which I'm sitting on is a nice birch ply um, seating that I created and built now I love working with birch ply it looks so good and it's on trend but the problem is it, it, it fades and it changes colour in the sun so if you leave it in the sun it'll go like a funny yellow and it stains really easily even if it's inside your house near a window that the, the colour will change so I'm going to stain this with, um, I think I'm going to do like a, a birch um, thorn down stain to protect it. So, so keep watching and I'll show you how I update all my furniture. I'm painting this hammock in um, Bishop's Blue. It's a really, really rich blue. I'm loving it. Um, I probably could get away with one coat, but like I said before, it's, a, it's an internal wood. It's not been tantalized. It's not meant for outside. So I'm actually going to give it two coats to make sure it's really protected. If I wanted to be really pedantic, I could then use the, the UV um, varnish, clear varnish over the top of it. But if I'm being honest, I think 
two coats will be enough. I gave the coffee table a quick sand just because it had a few marks and blemishes on it from being on the show for four series. Came up really, really well. Um, I then topped it off and give it one coat of the Thorndown UV Clear protective varnish. It has a slight sheen to it, so it looks um, like it's got a shellac finish almost. It's not glossy, but it's not totally matte. Um, sometimes it's a preference, um, but I really like it. I think I still see the grain of the wood, but also it has a feel like it's been protected, especially if it's going to be left outside in the rain. And just to finish off, I've wrapped up my brush in a plastic bag to protect it for a week so I don't have to wash it out, because I know I'm going to be using that again later on. I've sanded down my birch seat because I'd left it out and it actually did have some water marks on it. Um, and also I've brushed any, any debris away. You don't want any of that dust inside your paint. When you open your paint in for the first time, make sure that you give it a really good stir so that the, the color pigment goes all the way through the UV protective liquid. When applying thorn down paint you can use a brush or you can use a spray gun but make sure you clean out the nozzle at the end otherwise it will clog up and you'll never get it clean again. I'm using a short piled roller for this job. Top tip when uh, working with the thorn down stain is make sure you apply it evenly and when you put it on it's almost quite clear and then it gets darker and darker um, as it dries out a bit like a, a self tanning lotion it gets thicker and darker and also if you have any drips anywhere because there's a concentrated area of fluid it looks really dark against everything else so it just means you have to be extra careful when applying the paint. I'm now going to turn my attention to the decking. This decking is about nine years old, so it's well past its best. But I'm hoping with the help of Thorn Down, I can extend the life by a couple of years. Top tip when cleaning your decking before you paint it is don't pressure wash it. So many people pressure wash so it's all sparkling clean, but what that does is it opens up all the wood grain, which means water can get in and then it can rot quicker. So you actually, you're reducing the life of your decking boards. Before I stain the decking, I want to change any broken areas. Now there's one part that's quite rotten. So luckily I've got a spare piece of decking board. So I'm going to cut the old piece out, replace it with the new stuff. And once it's all been stained, you won't even notice that it's been patched up. I've done it. All the preparation is out of the way. I'm actually sweating. Um, I've cleaned all the rubbish in between the decking boards. I've um, brushed them. I've even hoovered them to make sure there's no debris or muck anywhere. And now's the fun part I get to paint. And I'm actually going to be using the Thorn Down Ash wood stain. Now what's great about this is it's not a solid block colour which means I won't have to do three or four coats which is a bit tedious if it's a huge large area like a decking normally is. So I recommend using a stain so you can get away with two coats which will protect it sufficiently. Um, the good thing about Thorn Down is that it's a UV protection so it'll, it'll protect it from the sun and the colour will stay. It's got a colour protector in there as well. Top tip is make sure your decking is completely dry. If there's water inside your decking, moisture inside the decking, all it will do is will rot it from the inside out. So you must do it on a dry surface. Top tip number two is if it's a brand new deck, the wood will be really, really porous. And what happens is when you're painting, the, the water in the paint will go straight through the decking board and then the paint will become a little bit chewy. So you can, because it's a water-based thorn down paint, thorn down is water-based, you can add a little bit of water just to uh, um, help with that, to stop any chewing with the paint. One of the great things about the Thorn Down tins, even the two and a half litre version, is that it has a large lid so you can use large brushes without getting it everywhere. The decking's finished. Surprisingly, it was quite an easy job. It only took two coats and that took about an hour to do. The hardest part was the preparation, the hoovering and the sweeping. Um, my main thing is that I'm really, really pleased that it's gonna last at least another year and I could probably extend the life by the decking board by another three if I keep topping it up with a thorn down paint. We're nearly there. All the big jobs have been done. If you can see behind me, the uh, workshop's been sorted, the decking's been painted, the raised beds and the furniture's all been painted. All we've got now to do is the fun stuff. So we've got terracotta pots and plastic pots. We've got some metal work and we've got glass. So keep watching and we'll be showing you how to use peelable glass paint. Now's the time I get to have a little bit of fun with the pots. I've got quite a few pots in the garden. I've got some terracotta pots and I've got some plastic PVC tubs as well. Now what's great about Thorndown paint is their colour spectrum 
is amazing. And even if you don't like any of the colours on here, because they're water-based, you can mm. actually mix them together and create a colour that you like. Now, we've got some quite strong colours in the garden. We've got some really strong blue, we've got some limestone colour, and then we've got the rich, dark colour of the wood. I want to kind of bring it all together and collectively bring it together by act act um, accenting a few colours. So I can paint these with some of the blues and some of the whites, but also thorn down do a smaller tin, almost, uh, you know, it's bigger than a sample pot, but 750 mil. Um, and I've chosen two other different versions of, of greys, which will all link in with the raised beds. Recently, I've just finished working with Alan Titchmarsh on a garden show, and I learned some top tips while I was there. One of them being, if you're gonna use pots in your garden, go big. The bigger the pot, the easier and the more chance you have of keeping that plant alive. One, because um, there's enough food to sustain the plant. And number two is there's enough water in there so it won't dry out very quickly and you won't have to water it so much. The problem with that is big pots tend to be very expensive. So I've gone for a terracotta pot here. This one costs five pounds. Um, but if you were to get a glazed version of that, it would cost you 15 to 20 pounds. And the reason why it's more expensive is because they last longer. And why do they last longer, the glazed ones? Is because unlike these, with the terracotta, if it's not sealed, water will get in there, and then at winter, when uh, uh, the water expands its inside, it'll blow and expand, and the whole thing will collapse. So what we need to do is protect this terracotta pot, this open poured terracotta pot, by using thorn down paint. So if you use this paint, it'll wrap it and seal it, and make it almost watertight, so prevent frost from getting in there, which means you've saved yourself quite a lot of money. When painting onto plastics, you'll definitely need two coats. So this first coat, when it goes on, it's almost like um, an undercoat and it flat and mat mats everything out. So then, then the top coat goes on a little bit more smoother. Now, this is something I made for a craft show and it's made out of barrel rings. Um, and I created this sphere effect so that I could put it in a pot and things could climb through it. I actually really like the weathered look and I like I like the rustic effect of it but the problem is everything in my garden is not much colour um, in, in the planting it's all quite browns and greens and it's just getting lost so I want to celebrate it a little bit more so I'm going to paint it with thorn down paint and see how it turns out. First thing I'm going to do is give it a clean and get rid of any loose debris. Best thing to use on metal is a wire brush. <laughs> When painting anything that's a little bit unstable, like a flaky wall or some flaky furniture, normally you would put a stabilizing solution on there. And what that does, it gives it a flat base so things won't peel off afterwards. But what's interesting about Thorn Down, that first coat that goes on, it almost feels like it's got a stabilizing solution in it. So obviously this is a little bit rusty. We've cleaned it, but there might be some bits that come off. But this first layer that I put on will automatically just tie it all together, almost hold it together like glue. As you can see with this garden makeover, I've managed to use Thorn Down on terracotta pots, on plastic pots, on metal and wood but it doesn't need to stop there. You could use Thorn Down to paint your UPPC windows or even your front door, give your house a front door makeover. And then you could take it inside because it's water-based, there's minimal odor. You could paint your furniture or even any of your, your walls or your furniture or your woodwork inside the house. So you can continue the theme from outside all the way into your home. Now we're having a bit of craft fun with thorn down peelable paint just to finish off the garden. And I've enlisted the help of my daughter Eva. Hi. And her friend Evie. Hi. And we're working here with the craft selection. It's the translucent selection, which means the sunlight can shine through it, a bit like a stained glass. And these come in amazing colors. I think it's really children friendly. So we have things like goblin green or dragon red. or Skylar blue, wizard yellow. Wizard yellow. Mermaid blue. Mermaid blue, I like that one. So I think they're aimed at the kids and it's crafts. What's great about this, as it says on the tin, it's peelable. So if you make a mistake or you decide to change the pattern or the picture, you can just peel it off. So we're working on some mirrors here um, and we're just having a little bit of fun with them. There's also an opaque collection, which means it blocks the sunlight going through it. So this is perfect if you've got a conservatory that's a little bit too hot and you just want to block out the sunlight or even you want to have a little bit of fun in with your greenhouse. What's great about this product, yet again, is that it's 100% water-based, um, it's eco-friendly, and also it's made from 100% recycled resin, so it's good for the environment as well. We have finished. The Thorn Down Garden Makeover is complete, and it only took a couple of days, and I've got to say, the paint was a dream to work with. So what have we done? We've stained my workshop, 
we've stained the decking, we've painted the raised beds, we've protected the coffee table with a UV varnish, we've updated and painted and stained the seating area, we've um, painted the terracotta pots, the um, plastic tubs, and we've even updated and painted some of the metal sculptures in the garden. And finally, we had a little bit of fun with the family and used the peelable glass thorn down paint. All that's left now to do is enjoy my garden with the family. Now, if you thought this video was helpful, please check us out at thediydoers.com. Um, join our interactive Facebook group and um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want any more information about Thorn Down Paint, please look at the links below and we'll give you all the information there. And remember, you can be a DIY doer.